cute puppy in the background for sympathy points. There's a federal law right now that if you show up at a, at a hospital, you get coverage. Let's play this game out to the end. Let's pretend that you are poor. Let's pretend that you followed the advice of the people who are telling you to go to the ER or go to urgent care. Let's pretend, for argument's sake, that the ER isn't busy, or urgent care isn't busy, and that it just so happens that you miraculously have something the ER can treat. Because they are not miracle workers and they cannot treat everything. Are you listening to me, person who thought the chemo can happen in the ER? Are you? So you go, and you get treated. Awesome! But then you get the bill. But see, here's the thing. You're poor. You're too poor to have been able to afford insurance to begin with. So you're too poor to pay that bill. It ain't happening. And so you default on the bill, then it gets sent to collections, and collections can't collect because you're poor. What are they gonna take? Meanwhile, back over at that hospital though, they need to keep the lights on. And they're not gonna be able to keep the lights on on no money from you. They need money, they have to pay their doctors, they have to pay their vendors, they have to pay their utilities, they need those dollars from somewhere and they aren't coming from you, so. What's the hospital gonna do? They do the only thing a hospital can do. They raise the prices on the people who can afford to pay. Well, that person who told you to go to the ER though, that's a person who can afford to pay. And when they have to go to the hospital, that bill's gonna be higher because they sent your ass to the ER. Oh, but they have insurance. Don't worry. Yeah, except insurance isn't in the charity business. So when the bill presented to the insurance company is higher. The insurance company is just going to pass that all right on along back to the person who told your ass to go to the ER in the first place. And so now the person who told you to go to the ER in the first place, now they're paying more for your health care than if you just had insurance that they covered to begin with. So what they're really saying when they say there's a federal law right now that if you show up at a, at a hospital, you get coverage. What they're really saying is in my heart, I deeply and truly wish to pay more than I would otherwise have to. And you know what? To them I say, honey, I got a crocheting habit and yarn ain't cheap. You want to pay unnecessary money? Hook me up with some yarn. That said, let's take a moment and acknowledge the elephant in the room. No one wants to pay for someone else's health care! Ah! Got that off our chest? Cool. The harsh truth is, though, that shit's gonna happen anyway. Those of us with means are going to end up paying for the health care of those people without means. It's going to happen right now without some major fundamental changes to the system. And these are not changes that are being discussed. So under any system that's talking about right now, other than burn it all with fire and start from the ground up, that's going to happen. We have means. We're going to pay the health care of people without means. Going to happen. Now, I understand if this makes you want to scream. Ah! Makes me want to scream. I work hard for my money. You know what? Everybody who gets money for work feels that way. We all, we all feel that we work hard for our money. So my recommendation to you is if you're one of these people who is telling somebody to get their ass to the ER for health care because you don't want to pay for their damn health care, go out into the woods, have a primal scream, ah! grab a pillow, get your punching on, get it all off your chest, get it right on out, get that feeling out. And then once that feeling is done, come back to the table where pragmatism and I are going to be having a little powwow and we're going to figure out the best solution for right now and also probably a total rework to the entire system so that maybe you don't have to pay for somebody's health care in the future. But for right now though, pragmatically, is going to happen. So go yell ah! and go scream ah! and don't pretend that telling somebody to go to the ER is going to give you anything less than paying unnecessary money. Because I don't know about your budget, my budget doesn't have that in it. Just remember, if you still want to pay unnecessary money because you're teaching some sort of moral lesson, yawn for me. My name is Jen and I'm running for president.